Good evening Super League fans, it's the chairman here. Just thought I'd uh, give you a quick update on the transfer situation um, now that all of you have uh, given me short lists and suggestions for transfers etc and I thought it would only be fair if I uh, tried to figure out how realistic any some of this actually is so you're not wasting all your time <coughs> looking at, the, at various players. I know that some of you have, uh, have shortlisted quite famous players um, in the big leagues. I mean, we mentioned Albertini already and some other players. Um, I would probably say that that's generally a waste of time. Um, these players uh, are not really particularly interested in moving to, to, to any of your clubs in the, due to the fact that it's in Australia. Um, anything that we've done with regards to increasing the, the reputation of the league, the reputation of the teams, we've lowered the reputation of European teams. Um, I cannot find a setting for, for removing a dislike for a different continent. And, uh, and unfortunately, that has some impact on, uh, on who wants to play there. It also impacts the prices. I mean, as, as maybe you know from your own games, if you start with a with a super big team and you try to buy, buy some uh, some hot players from around the world, um, then you can easily pay 20, 30, 40 million um, f for them. So so that's kind of what we're looking at. If you if you're happy to 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 continue with your bids, then obviously that's that's completely fine. But um, very established players in their late 20s, 30s um, for European teams whose nationality hasn't been changed to Australian especially um, is, is pretty much a waste of time to be completely honest. And this is based on me playing uh, a few months on with a with a test game, um, retiring most of you and continuing with uh, with uh, the current league leaders and seeing how we could get on with uh, with regards to buying players around the around the world. Not too well is the answer. So what I'll recommend is that first of all is that you look at the list of the hundred and whatever players that we'd already identified. Um, I think we've changed the, the nationality on a lot of them. Some of the ones that missed out in the lottery. That information is available in the transfer thread on uh, on Twitter. Um, secondly, um, you have the game. Well, most of you anyway. Find the players that you want, but younger ones, smaller leagues. Um, there's also uh, unhappy players seems to be more willing to come. I think I signed uh, even De La Pena. If anyone's interested in him, he's not the worst. Um, he was he was unhappy and, and definitely willing to come. Um, and and then younger players basically were, were were quite likely to come as well. And from like these countries that where players cost nothing, yeah. So so Eastern European players uh, happy to come. Um, Central American. It's really mainly the big names in the in the Central European clubs. So so yeah, there's a lot of players who or people who would like to sign Albertini and and some of the established uh, central defenders and and so forth. But uh, but. Um, I think you'll be you be you be you be wasting your time trying to put the bits in. Happy to put them in. Happy to give you the result. I know I've I've already emailed a couple of you with uh, with players that that I've or rather or DM'd with players that I've already tested and said that that they are they are basically not interested at this particular point in time for for various reasons. Either because they want to wait until the end of the season to decide on their future, which I believe is a 9.60 feature. I um, don't recall seeing that a lot in, in 6.8 either way. Um, or they simply don't want to move to Oceania. Bergkamp, for example, his contract is up. Um, he's unwilling to move. Um, not that any of you had listed him, but I, I checked him anyway. Luis Enrique, um, it, lots of you have shortlisted him. Forget it, he's never coming. Um, so, so try and think a little bit outside of the box. I also signed some of the players. Um, in fact, four of the players that were on the original list that they uh, that we, we we went through on the show. And and although the enthusiasm wasn't great, um, four of those players will be. A huge asset to any of the teams in the league. I think they were to Valen, which was the team I was playing with. They all did exceptionally well in the starting eleven, all averaging around eight, even more. Um, fair enough that it got a little bit easier because the other teams are controlled by the AI and not by other managers. But but these are players that definitely can make it in the Super League. So uh, so so don't disregard any of them. I've also sent scouts out um, to all of the corners of the globe, and they've come back with a bunch of players. I will try and find a nice way to share them so that you can have a look at them um, and see if it's something that that you would be interested in if you need other players um, other than that obviously continue to trade with each other 
But bear in mind, if you're looking outside the Super League, this is the key message. If you're looking outside the Super League, you've identified identified established European players at six, seven, eight, nine, ten million that you think might be an addition to your squad. Uh, they won't come unless they become unhappy or something else happens at the moment. Um, I've been unsuccessful in signing anyone uh, particularly famous. If you look at the, um, the the interested player screen, for example, um, so we look at players that are based abroad, and you can see here there's Overmars, Albertini, Sergio, and um, there's a bunch of lovely players here. Um, perhaps not as many as you used to because, uh, <laughs> well, we'll maybe just clear the attribute uh, fixing here. Perhaps not as many as you used to, but there are still some players um, based in Europe here, and you can see Albertini is the, the bottom one here, 8.75. I think I've shared some screenshots as well. Here's Luis Enrique, Mandavikia, Adrian Ilia, etc. However, if you do this, and I have checked and I have bought or tried to buy players that were that were listed as uh, as as not as without this interested thing being on um you can see it immediately drops um to less interesting players and certainly none that that were particularly uh rated or, or wanted by any of you guys um, but it does seem to have an effect and I think the Oceania thing unfortunately plays a, a big part because um, they're either delighted to to with their current role at the club or they are unhappy to move to, to Oceania or both so uh, so bad news for those of you who had um, Luis Enrique in, in, in your sights, Dimitri Albertini another one who's definitely uh, not going to be interested in, in moving to, to to the home of the Kangaroos in the Super League um so sad news from that perspective. The good news is that it'll give everyone an opportunity to to use their their imagination and to use their their chat manager skills to find some of these players that could definitely improve the squad. As I said, I signed six players for for Andreas' side. Played 15 g 14 games. I think I didn't play to the playoffs, but I played a lot of games, um, and they could definitely all you know hold their own in in the Super League um, amongst not so much just against the opposition but also uh, amongst the players that were already there so with the likes of Shevchenko as you know Andreas' squad is quite strong already and there's definitely players in there um, who, uh, who who could easily be re be replaced by uh, by some very promising youngsters so um, that's my message of course if you want to continue to rely on, on, on the players that you have or you have 24 you only need what 16 or something per 18 maybe um, you're obviously welcome to do that the squad should be big enough if you want players from outside the super league give me a shout have a look at some of the players that have already been scouted and um, that we have shared i will continue to share it hopefully on the website and um, we're trying to get a little gallery going where scout reports will come up and, and you can have a look make it a little bit more interesting a little bit more interactive instead of just me rambling off names or or or, or sending things to alf to to put through cm scout um just to make it a little bit more fun and interactive and for those of you who have literally no interest in all this transfer messing about that that's completely fine you don't have to, to to buy anyone you don't have to take part in any of this if you want to do a couple of swaps with the other teams just to strengthen a few positions that's absolutely fine as well it's more about the actual in interactivity and the entertainment value to do this not to genuinely in, improve your squads because they are already very very strong none of you need anything really um, with with the squads that that you do have you should be able to, to put out a decent side so um so it's just a bit of fun really um, and I hope that you, you can understand that the amount of work that goes into this, um, there is quite a lot. And unfortunately, I can't think of everything. Um, I would have loved to be able to to sell any player to you or have changed them all to Australian. But but there's only so much we can do, unfortunately. So um, so that's the situation that we're in. Have a look around if you want to buy players at, at whatever's out there or, or give me names from your own save. But bear in mind smaller players please not players from established clubs not players who've only been one season at the club they're gonna ask unless you want to pay 30 40 million or just waste time on it because uh, uh, some of them just aren't gonna get sold so um, so be careful with your transfer prospects and um, we are the super league but uh, but apparently we're not uh, <laughs> we're not that important so uh, so we are still occasionally rejected by by the the likes of Barcelona AC Milan all these big clubs but um, as mentioned I've had scouts all over the world I already have a bunch of candidates hopefully i'll get some screenshots done later today and i'll find a way of sharing them so you can so you can look at some players there but as i say there are four or five at least four genuine gems on that list that i put out there who can definitely do a job so uh, so there's hope for everyone who wants to sign new players and don't necessarily want to to sign from uh, from their fellow super league teams although that is of course still possible so that was my 10 minute 10 minute rant 
or advice or a mixture of of uh, of both on the on the transfer topic so i hope you have an, an enjoyable evening and um and i'll try and, uh, and go and see if i can upload an actual video rather than just doing the these things live i'm sure i'll figure it out have a nice evening